Minute breaking news in young Dolph's case. Hernandez Govan, one of the prime suspects in the rapper's death, is now out of jail on a ninety thousand dollar bond. Our jury. Wow. Ninety thousand dollars. Not even a million, a five million, none of that shit. Ninety thousand dollars. Ninety thousand dollars bond. So he got to pay nine thousand. Nine thousand bucks. You kill their. You kill their fucking. Their Nipsey Hustle, their fucking Tupac or whatever, and you get a nine thousand dollar bond. Rita Patterson was in I mean, court bail. today and learned that new bond is based partially on new details of his possible role in the crime. District Attorney Steve Mulroy tells WREG Young Dolph's family agreed to the bond setting. Hernandez Govan. His family agreed to the bond setting is the man the DA first said solicited the killing of rapper Young Dolph in 2021. Now the DA says investigators have learned more information in his case. We've come into some information about Mr. Govan's role and medical conditions that make us uh, think that this is the best resolution in order to get justice uh, for the case. So at the end of the day, the court cited safety and medical concerns as two of the reasons for the bond. That case. Fuck his medical concerns, right? Like they treat the criminals like they're the. Yeah. It's or weird. They're the <laughs> or they're the victims and shit. Like this is. And, and, and the family agreed to this shit. That's the sad part about this shit. That's yeah, just amazing. Man. When I heard that the family agreed to it, I thought it was on some street stuff. Like, oh yeah, let them out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, they, that's, that's, they could have got his ass in the joint too. True. Exactly. That's yeah, that's the easiest place to get somebody, especially because they ain't going nowhere. This is this is crazy. A Memphis man wanted for an armed carjacking in South Haven is now in jail after a police chase in Middle Tennessee. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live after speaking with the girlfriend of the carjacking victim. But Bria, let's start from the beginning here. Well, Greg, this all started about two weeks ago. That's when South Haven police say that the suspect actually carjacked a DoorDash driver here in South Haven. But it wasn't until yesterday that police got a break in the case. A wild police pursuit landed this man, 31-year-old Roger Poindexter of Memphis, behind bars in Metro Nashville. The chase happening more than three hours away and nearly two weeks after South Haven police say Poindexter carjacked this gold Cadillac from a Chili's on Goodman Road. Before my boyfriend could get in the car, he jumped in the car and um, pulled a gun on him and told him, if you don't leave, you know, if you don't let me have the car, then I'm going to shoot you. Ashley Turner owns the car. She says her boyfriend was picking up a DoorDash order a little after 10 p.m. when he was met with a pistol in late April. Before he could get into the building, the guy was running full speed towards him. According to South Haven Police, minutes before the carjacking, Poindexter was being pursued by Memphis police and had wrecked a stolen car near the restaurant. Minutes before the carjacking, he was being pursued by the police and wrecked the car near the restaurant. So he just wrecked this car and then carjacked this guy to get out to get a new car. Okay, at, at the risk of uh, victim blaming. Okay, so the girlfriend owns the car that the guy is using to drive DoorDash. Who do you think the victim is? Son, man. There you go. Probably, probably a son, man. Yeah, because this is um, this is a this is a, this is a uh, rough looking glider girl, and they 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 prey on these ones, man. And he's got apartments, and you, it's you a get, very sunny town. Yeah, get a PlayStation out of this deal, man. You get a PlayStation and a place to stay out of them. And a Cadillac. Yeah. Running full speed mm. towards him. According to South Haven Police, minutes before the carjacking, Poindexter was being pursued by Memphis police and had wrecked a stolen car near the restaurant. After leaving the scene, he eventually made his way to North Nashville, 
where he was involved in a chase along I-40 involving both officers on the ground and in a chopper. It's just really crazy. Just the fact that he got all the way to Nashville. Metro Nashville police report when officers tried to block the vehicle, Poindexter started using the stolen car as a weapon, hitting an officer who was not seriously injured and then hitting two police cruisers. He eventually surrendered in Cheatham County. I'm just glad that they got him. He's not a good person at all. Turner says as her boyfriend replays a terrifying carjacking day after day, they're now worried that insurance may not cover their repairs. He was real disappointed. That's another thing people don't understand. Insurance, you, you, if, that Cadillac they got, they gonna fucking be riding around in a goddamn um, Pontiac DeVille and shit when they fucking um, Pontiac some shit, a Pontiac or fucking in a, a rust bucket. Yeah, they, the insurance doesn't give you give you the same car, even if you have um, um, full coverage. As he said, he felt like he did more, but I told him no because the car could be replaced, but he could. And his life means more than a car. Poindexter is currently in Nashville where he is facing a slew of charges, including assault on an officer and reckless driving. Now he'll then be brought back here to the Mid-South where he will face additional charges both here in Memphis and South Haven.